again YouTube and welcome back to another video. Today was a day spent in the house. I've been cleaning, just decluttering, tidying all. It's now 25 past 6 in the evening and I ordered bell pepper. I've never had bell pepper before and I want to do a first impressions review with you guys. I actually ordered through Just Eat and on there they actually have what dishes are vegan. I think they had three options for starters. I got two starters. Then they had a section for vegan main courses and I think there was like five or six and I got one main course. I am here in Waterford so I got the one in Waterford and I know there's also one in Dublin. It was actually around the 20 euro mark for the two starters and the one main course. So let's dive right in. First up we have the spring rolls. I love spring rolls. Like spring rolls are one of my favorite things ever. Mm. This is not sweet chili sauce. So the spring rolls actually come with a plum dip. But we'll give this a go. I'm gonna use my hands. They seem kind of crispy enough, but not so crispy that they're gonna flake everywhere. And they're a nice color. Mmm. Mmm. That's really good. It's like the plum dip is, it's not spicy like sweet chili spicy. It's like cloves that you'd have in a hot whiskey. It's like a sweet spicy. It's strange. It's very different to sweet chili sauce. Oh, it's almost like spicy wine kind of. They're really nice spring rolls really easy to bite sometimes when you bite into spring rolls half the filling will come out as you're trying to break it with this it doesn't it actually it breaks when you bite it it's crunchy and fresh they have a nice amount of filling they're a nice size good crunch they're actually not very greasy at all yeah they're they're really good they're really really tasty i'm really enjoying these i think i do still prefer sweet chili sauce but for a change, this plum dip is really, really good. I'm gonna go for the next starter. Sweet corn and potato patties with a mango dip. I've never had these ever before and I said, do you know what? Let's try something new. Whoa. Okay, so here's the mango dip. It is... Definitely a mango color. It's very gloopy. And in here we have four sweet corn and potato patties. I have nothing to compare these to because I've never had them before. I kind of expect these to be like light, fluffy, almost like an Irish potato cake texture, but a bit lighter, not as like dense with some sweet corn through it. They're like a nice size, a nice color. They smell like a very light kind of spice. They smell really, really fresh. This is half of it. I'm gonna try it without the mango dip first. Oh my God. They have completely taken me by surprise. They are really nicely spiced and have a lot of flavor considering they didn't they don't smell like much like very very mild spicy but still a little bit of a kick to it wow these are something i know i'm going to be craving again maybe i could make them the texture is exactly what i thought it was going to be okay so we'll try some with the mango dip now wow i didn't think they could be nicer but that is so good that's like a completely different flavor altogether. That flavor with the mango dip, it honestly feels like you're on holidays. And I don't know how because I'm just sitting in my kitchen eating a takeaway on my own. But all of a sudden from some little mango dip, I feel like I could be sitting on a beach somewhere. Oh, it's so fresh. It's sweet, but you have the spice still coming through. It just makes you think of summer and sunshine. A really lovely flavor. Last but not least, we have our main course. I got the vegan madrasi korma with brown rice. So here we have a big tub brown rice. My thinking is when I order takeaway, I'll order enough for tonight's dinner and then tomorrow morning I'll be at work from half eight until five. I won't have to make lunch now tomorrow because I'll just pop this into a lunch box and bring it with me to work. Oh wow. 
Oh wow, it almost smells like a Thai green curry or a Thai yellow curry. Have loads of bits of tofu. We have mushroom, butternut squash, broccoli, red pepper, and that is most definitely fresh vegetables. There's a few bits of sweet corn in here too. I'm gonna take out a few bits of tofu. It smells very, very creamy, which I like. I'm kind of nervous. I don't know why I really want this to be nice. So here's what we're looking at on the plate. I think it looks really good. Okay, so let's dig in. Okay. Mmm. Really refreshing. Really light. Like the sauce isn't oily in any way, shape, or form. Apologies. I had to run and answer the door there. Anyway, we'll continue. Mmm. <laughs> Those mushrooms are so good. Butternut squash is perfectly cooked. All the veg is genuinely so fresh. Now for the tofu. I have to say, since being vegan and getting tofu in dishes, this is probably the nicest tofu I have had in a dish. This is so fresh. It's like they cut it the exact right size where it can cook in the middle so it's like it's not mushy and still holding a lot of water. This is, it's really, really good. I'm really surprised, like really surprised at how tasty this is and how much I'm genuinely enjoying this. It's so light. Like I'm, I'm getting full but I don't feel like I'm having takeaway kind of full, you know. I feel like this is healthy. I feel like this is good. It's, it's worth spending money on. No regrets. Really happy. So I'm just going to dig in and finish this. I'm actually pleasantly full now. I haven't completely finished the food and there seriously is. It's up to here. Like there's loads still for tomorrow. There's loads of rice left. There's two patties and a spring roll. So I'm all set for tomorrow. Overall, I have to say I am super impressed. I didn't have high expectations. I didn't have low expectations for this takeaway. So I wanted to do this little review, first impressions taste test with you guys because I haven't heard about it myself and I was curious. I'm very pleasantly surprised. I'm really happy. I found a new place that I can go to now that tastes healthy. It was about half an hour from when I put the order through on Just Eat to when it arrived at my doorstep. It was still piping hot, super fresh. Everything tastes light and healthy. There's no oily food. There's no burnt food. Everything is literally cooked perfectly. Still a tiny bit of crunch in the veg. I can't really fault it. The only thing I would say with the korma curry is that it's a tiny, tiny bit watery because I do like curry sauces and pasta sauces, like that bit thicker and just the tiniest bit too sweet. But I think that's because when I get Asian street food or an Indian, I do go for kind of spicy dishes. And because this has coconut milk in it, like a Thai yellow curry, it's a lot sweeter and there's no definitive like bang on your tongue of flavor because everything has been dulled down a good bit, like a lot from the amount of coconut milk they use, but that is that style of curry, and for that style of curry like that, it does taste amazing, just not what I'm used to really. Overall, yeah, brilliant, I love it. I will be ordering again, so big thumbs up for bell pepper. So if you did like this video and you'd like to see more videos like this, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, share some love, thank you so much again for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!